In this video, we're going to replace this basic one-way switch with a smart switch. And we're going to use one of these guys here. And we're going to get it set up with smart things and control it using our voice through Alexa. Hi, I'm Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. I also have the steps to building the Art Ultimate Smart Home right on my shirt, and you can visit the video description below for all those steps. Also, um, for all the products that we're going to be using today, you can visit the video description, and I'll have all the links in the description of everything you need to get this um, basic switch replaced with one of these smart switches. Now, I have both of these here because they are basically identical. Um, so what we're going to do is actually we're going to use this Zoos switch here. Okay, the reason I want to replace this basic switch with a smart switch is because this is for the living room and the living room is all the way over here. So the switch is over here and the living room is all the way over here. So that is a pretty far distance. Also, after we replace this basic switch, we'll be able to dim and brighten with our voice, turn it on and off with our voice. And there's also a lockout function. So if you ever needed to do anything with the light, like put a fan up or whatever, you could lock it out so no one could turn on or off the switch. So first thing we're gonna do is take off this plate. Okay, now note that I have not turned off the power yet because we need to know um, which wire is actually getting the power. So we're gonna actually pull out this switch, just be very careful not to touch anything here. So these are our wires. So we actually have two black wires and a ground. So what we need to do is test and see which one is getting power. So it's definitely going to be this one. So this one comes from your circuit breaker downstairs or wherever it is and sends the power into the switch. This one sends the power through the switch to the light and that's what turns on the light. So if I were to flip this on, now it's to the on position. This one is getting power and this one is getting power because the switch has now let the power flow through. And I'm actually going to take a little piece of electrical tape and mark this wire. All right, and now I'm going to go turn off the power to the circuit breaker. Okay, now the power has been turned off. Let's just test it. So now, regardless of where the switch is, the power is off. So now we just need to remove the wires from the back of the switch. Yours may be, you know, wrapped around um, the screws. If they are, just loosen the screws up and unwrap the wires. Okay, so on my switch, all I need to do is put a little screwdriver in the back here, and then these wires will pop out. And then my ground is actually on here with a screw. Alright, so there's our basic switch, all removed. And you can see how basic this is. Okay, now let's take a look inside the box of the Zoo's toggle dimmer switch. Alright, so here is the switch. And it has everything labeled on the back here. So you have your line, your load, traveler, and neutral. And then on the front, you have the lockout here. So that would disable the switch from being able to be used. And then you push up to brighten, push down to dim. You also have a little bag. Now this has um, a neutral wire, which is this white wire. 
And then it also comes with shorter screws to, to put your plate back on because those screws will be going into here and they can only be so deep. Okay, so to install the switch, we have our wire that we marked with the black tape and that is gonna go into the line spot. The load is going to be the other black wire, not using the traveler wire. And then the neutral wire is the white wire that came with the switch. And there should be a neutral wire in our box somewhere. And we're gonna to have to dig that out. So we're just gonna move the wires out of the way for now. And we're gonna to have to find that white wire in here. So what we're gonna do is undo this wire knot. We're gonna take our white wire that came with our switch. Make sure it's good and tight. All right. Okay. Okay, and you do have these little tabs on the side I'm just going to break these off because I know I'm going to install another smart switch here eventually and that will just give us a little bit more space on the sides. So all you do is take um, some pliers and just bend it a little bit until they pop off. Okay, so now we basically have all of our wires. Um, let's see, this neutral wire or this ground wire is going to have to go in this slot here. So I'm going to have to straighten out this this ground wire. Now it's very very important that you do not unscrew these screws too far. If you do there is a little plate on the inside that will get separated from the screw and it will take you hours to get it back. So we have them all loosened a little bit and now we're just going to stick them in the holes. So our Bare wire is going to go into our ground in the top of the switch. Now our line is the one that we marked with black tape. So we're going to stick that in there. And when you, when you put it in, you want to push in the screw. And then you want to um, tighten the screw after the the wire is in. So we're going to stick this in and then we're going to tighten the screw. All right. We do not have a traveler screw. Load goes in up here, which is our black wire that we did not mark. All right. And then our neutral, which is our white wire that we added to the other white wires that were already in the box goes into the neutral on the back. Whoops, and this just popped out, so that's not good. All right, we have all our wires in. Just make sure that they're tight. If they're not, just repeat the process. Okay, now we need to get everything back into the box which can be a challenge because you see all these wire nuts and all these wires. Um, so it just takes a little bit of patience. So just kind of got to tuck everything back as best you can. And this is quite a bit larger than obviously a normal switch. So that's another challenge. Okay, now before we actually put all of these screws back in, let's just make sure that it works. Okay, I've turned on the power, and let's just make sure. So this light works, the hall light works, and let's check and make sure that the new switch we installed works. And it works as well. So 
uh, make sure that on the bottom here that this is pushed to the right if it's pushed to the left it is locked and it will not get power and you will drive yourself crazy because you know you installed all the wires correctly but it's just not working just make sure that is to the right and when I actually turn that to the left it instantly cuts off power to the light bulb all right so now we have our switch installed now what we need to do is connect it to smart things and get it to be able to be controlled with our voice using Alexa okay to add it to smart things the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and open our smart things app and I'm using the classic app because it's feature complete right now the new smart things app is not complete as of recording this video so if you are using the new smart things app you can always use the classic app just download it and log in using your Samsung credentials so we are in our smart things app we are just going to go to my home and we are going to hit the plus sign in the upper right hand corner and what we need to do if it doesn't find it automatically just hit your switch up three times and it should pop up if it doesn't pop up um, automatically here so we're going to go ahead and hit rename device and we are going to call this Walth. Alright, so we have renamed our light switch loft and we're going to hit save. And it just wants to confirm. So we're going to hit OK there. Alright, and now let's take a look here. And here is our loft. Okay, so here is the loft light and you can see if I tap the on and off on the smart things app it will come on and off and another great feature about this switch is when it turns on and off it kind of dims up and dims down so it's nice and sm smooth and soft we can also go into the loft itself and you can tap it here to turn it on and off so now it's turning off turn it back on and you can also tap on where it says 100% and you can dim it down like that. Let's take a second here. Go all the way down like say 18%. That was just a light glow. And you can also use the arrows on the right here. Okay, so to get this um, working with Alexa, all we need to do is say discover devices starting discover this will take up to 20 seconds if you haven't already please enable the smart home skill for your smart device from the alexa app and you can control it by saying turn off lock okay so she found the loft and now we can control it using alexa so alexa turn off loft okay alexa Turn on loft. Okay. Alright. You can also dim it and brighten it using your voice as well. Just say a percentage. So I'm going to say, Alexa, loft 100%. Okay. You can see it's gotten a little bit brighter here. Alright, and that is how you install the Zoo's toggle dimmer switch. This is on a one-way switch, but I'm going to have another video on how to install it on a two-way switch. A little more difficult, but pretty much the same. And now you got it set up with smart things, so you can set it up with all kinds of routines um, and automations. So I hope you found that video helpful. Um, if you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.